on the mark, set, set, mark! Just three the battle over remain. the future of the Nadia BBC Ian. has been raging for months. Now the Culture Secretary, John Whittingdale, is expected to set out a tough new remit. You made a mistake threatening me. The BBC Trust is likely to be scrapped, with Ofcom taking over regulation. And rumours are rife he'll scale down the website, impose a subscription on the iPlayer and crack down on ratings wars, even interfering with scheduling and demanding distinctiveness. It is a huge public intervention. It's 3.7 or is it £4 billion pounds of public money? And you, you'd have, in a mixed economy, of course you have to be concerned, quite, ro quite rightly and properly, about the impact that has on would-be commercial competitors. The deal on the licence fee is already done. The government made the BBC foot the £700 million cost of free licences for the over 75s. So this white paper is becoming increasingly politically charged. The BBC tells news to the public that the government does not want them to know and it tells it in ways that they don't like. That's standard, that is democracy. The idea that you will suddenly regulate the BBC and try and get rid of it because you don't like it really feeble. It is the absolute lifeblood of the creative industries here and to strip it away is insane to me. It should be, it should be protected and cherished. The Academy Award I've won this year, these awards, they're, they're, I have the BBC to thank for that. This week the BBC won 14 BAFTAs, including one for EastEnders, but the last decade has been the worst in its history. The devastating Jimmy Savile scandal, huge cuts and hundreds of job losses, as well as controversy over payouts and bad behaviour of BBC stars. This is direct television from the studios at Alexander Palace. When the BBC was set up in 1922, its remit was to inform, educate and entertain. Over the last hundred years, while the BBC's values have remained, the industry has transformed. As the commercial sector has grown, we've seen a rapid rise in its competitors and questions are now being raised over the true purpose of the BBC and whether it really should be all things to all people. The media landscape has transformed beyond all recognition. From a handful of terrestrial channels, consumers now have hundreds of options. 46% of people subscribe to a streaming service and many don't watch TV at all. One third and half of millennials watching online or on a mobile. These seismic changes have fuelled the government's case for modernisation, but such is the passion of the corporation's supporters, the fallout from today's announcement could be damaging for both the BBC and the government. Lucy Cotter, Sky News.